Hi, I'm Pascal Villeneuve, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor, and this is the Shark RF Open Spot. This is a small, standalone, low power consumption, multi mode digital hotspot. It does DMR, C4FM, which is Yezu Fusion, and D Star. It has a lot of cool features, but it, the main thing about the open spot is that it is completely standalone. That means it doesn't require a PC or a Raspberry Pi to work. It's actually working by itself. It has an integrated web interface. So that means there is a little web server into it. So that means the only thing you need to do is enter the IP address into your web browser, whatever platform, because it works on mobile as well. Uh, it, and it's a, the interface is, is responsive, but you just log in via a web page. So if you can browse the web, you can actually use the open spot. So that make it very, very simple to use. Also, it has some cool feature like DMR and C4FM cross mode. So that means you can actually do C4FM using a DMR radio in digital narrow only for those who know DC4FM and you can do the reverse so that's mean you can do DMR with your C4FM radio so that's pretty cool and this will be shown in the demonstration that will follow also you can save profile into the device up to five and you can recall reflector mode frequency and everything okay with your radio so let's say in D star you can use the UR code to recall the profile memory or the DTMF in C4FM and you can actually recall this from your radio. So that's make it pretty neat. You know, I have to log into the web interface and you can program up to five reflector that you like or your preferred reflector. The box physically has the description of all its interface on top of it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So it's very easy to understand. On this side, in the front, you have the antenna connector, okay, which is SMA female on the open spot, so you, it requires SMA male antenna. You have four LEDs in the front that giving you the status. There's a, a dozen things that it can say, but uh, it's pretty stra straightforward. You know, you just look at it. And you know if you're connected or not, and if uh, if you have um, uh, internet connection and everything. This unfortunately doesn't have any Wi-Fi interface. It only has RJ45, which is Ethernet, so you need to wire a wire connection to connect it, or you buy a third party uh, uh, Ethernet to Wi Fi adapter, they call a bridge, that you can use it with it. You have a reset for uh, resetting the config, and you also have a micro USB port. The micro USB port actually providing the power to the unit. It requires 5 volts and it takes 210 milliamps, so it's very low power consumption. It's 1.05 watt. When you get the open spot, you get the antenna, you get the RJ45 cable, a flat one, you get a USB power pack, and you get the micro USB to USB cable. And if you connect the USB part into your computer, you will power the unit. But if you reboot in the bootloader uh, into the web interface, it will actually be detected by your PC as a storage device. So for updating the firmware, the only thing you need to do is drag and drop the file into the box and then it will update itself. So it's very, very easy. So there's a feature that is unique to the Shark RF open spot. It's called the Shark RF IP connector. Okay, what it does, it gives you the possibility to connect two open spot in a point to point matter. Okay, so you connect it in point to point using the IP address. So if you have a friend at location A and, uh, and you are at location B, well, you can actually uh, build a bridge together via the internet and have simplex conversation, whatever you want. There is also an open source application that is accessible via the web. It is uh, printed into the printed article. Sorry, it is in the written article. And you can actually do a point to multi point with that. So in the advanced mode, let's say that the open spot can give you the beginner's facility, very simple. And you can have a very complex environment up to adding your own server and things. 
using the advanced mode. So this is very flexible uh, as a standalone box. And it's also very small, but very heavy. So let's go with the uh, web interface demonstration. When you know the IP address of the open spot, you just type it in into your web browser and you will get directly into the web interface. You enter the password, easy, it's open spot. That's the default password. And when you get in, you get this status page that will give you the information about the last transmitted station, transmit station, sorry. And you will have like the software version and you know the hardware version, etc. And some information about the network and the traffic. You have actually uh, three other tabs, which is connectors. This is where you connect to select the mode. So I'll do it very quickly. It is now in D star, okay, XRF, but you have the MRD star and fusion. You have the point to point connector and you have the DMR calibration. So what we're gonna do is look at the HT on the table and I'm gonna switch between the mode, okay? So hold on a second. I'm gonna go up, well, I'll make sure I'm in D star. Then you just switch and already have a reflector selected, as you can see. Okay, so if you click save, usually it will connect to, so you can switch the modem mode right here, but you save usually to go to the reflector. Open spot connected to XRF zero one fade Elton. You also have the gateway, then you will have some call sign like I showed in the written article. When I want to connect to V2 VPS, it's right there in the list. Okay, E2, uh, VPS, it's right there. So that's how you connect. Now let's switch to DMR. So I'll go to DMR plus, okay. You need to enter your DMR ID right here. Already has selected the server, connect to a reflector. So I will switch the DMR dongle and change the modem mode. And then I'll save. There you go. And then I'll switch to Fusion, okay? So, and I need to enter the frequency because I didn't set it up, 446.275. Okay, I will cut and paste since it is a simplex frequency. And then I will go in FCS03, hold on a second. 03, I will connect there. We'll enter my call sign, VA2PV. Okay, and I need my CCS7 ID, which is my DMR ID, okay, that is used as well. And then I will save this, but I will have to switch the modem to FCS for Fusion, which is C4FM. Open spot connected to FCS3 room 1. It's easy like this. So if you can browse the web, like I said, well, you can use the open spot. Okay, let's do C4FM with a DMR radio using the open spot cross mode function. You see in the connector air on the web interface, I'm connected to FCS, which is fusion. And I have this frequency enter, which is the frequency of my DMR radio, the TYT that you see on the screen. Okay, and all my information, I'm already connected. And the modem, is in DMR but the connector is in C4 FM okay because FCS is system fusion which is C4 C4 FM you can do the other way around so put the modem in C4 FM and put the connector in DMR but what we're gonna do is I have this radio this C4 FM radio connected to another hotspot that is connected to FCS 003 port 01 as well so I will save air and you're gonna air the TYT. Open spot connected to FCS 3 room 1. 
So just confirm that it is connected to the uh, FCS server as well. So there will be interference, maybe feedback between the two radio while I do the, the, the cross mode. It's just to show you because both radio are on, their same on the same band and they are very close to each other. So let's transmit with the DMR. VA2 PV testing. Okay, so the interference made it not sound very good. VA2 PV testing. VA2 PV testing. Okay, better on this way. Let's do the other, just get it further. VA2 PV testing. VA2 PV testing. Oh, a little bit of feedback. So this is cross mode. This is how the profile recall works with the radio. So let's start switching from D star to C4 FM and then we'll do the other way around. Open spot profile for ready. Open spot connected to XCS 3 through 1. Open spot profile two ready. Open spot connected to XRF zero one state alpha. In conclusion, the Shark RF open spot is a small, standalone, multi-mode digital loud spot. It offers the simplicity for the newcomer but as well as the flexibility wanted by those advanced users. I'm Pascal Villeneuve, Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor, and I would like to wish you my best 7 trees.